Welcome to Rogue Trader. Please read the disclaimer and remember that prices can go down as well as up. And now to take a look at Fulcrum PLC. This is part of my Greta Gold series. And if you click in the top right hand corner here, you'll get a link to that video. That analysis produced a short list of renewable energy plays. And I'm going through each of these fairly quickly with these stock, ana with these stock analysis blitz videos before then picking on just a few to go into in more detail. So Fulcrum PLC are a renewables focused utilities engineering and installation specialist. They put in multi utilities connections in new housing and new industrial and commercial developments. And they're also involved in installing smart metering. Now, the thing that interested me the most is their involvement in the maintenance, the design and now, the thing that interested me the most was their design, build and upkeep of solar and wind installations. But when I looked into their annual report, it was hard to see what, how much of a contribution that was actually making. And really, most of their business seems to be wherever there's new houses being built, just coming in as contractors to set up the utilities connections. So they are a play on EV charging, but it was hard to find real evidence of them gaining massive traction and market dominance in this uh, area. Although on the surface, they look like a perfect match to what I'm looking for, because I think there must be money in being the people actually installing all this capability into the UK power grid. The fact is, is that when I looked at their numbers, they just didn't please me. In 2019, they would have made a net income of 5 million. But then in 2020, when you take away this re-evaluation of assets and also the sale of their gas piping business for 4 million, you'll find that they would have actually made a loss of about 3 million in 2020 in terms of net income. So their accounts look a little bit vulnerable and that's not really the kind of company I like to invest in. To their benefit, they don't have any debt. But overall, they're a company that, in theory, looks like a perfect match for one of my Greta Gold picks. But then when I look into the numbers, it's just hard to be sure if they're going to be um, on the upside or downside in the next couple of years based on their current performance. And I just don't like chancing it. You know, I like the numbers to be perfect before I go in. So on my assessment criteria, I shan't be including Fulcrum in my final shortlist.